We're looking at Marmot's helium membrane sleeping bag. This is a three season bag rated to 15 degrees. It is a mummy style bag, as you can see here. Uh, and it is filled with 850 Phil Power Goose Down and it is filled in and finished in Santa Rosa, California. So the outside material in this bag is really what kind of makes it stand out. It's also why it's called the helium membrane. Marmot does make another sleeping bag called the helium. Uh, they're both rated to 15 degrees and have very similar features. However, the helium membrane, uh, the outer shell is a Pertex shield and it's waterproof breathable. So this bag is gonna excel in any sort of damp or wet conditions. Uh, anybody that's doing some winter camping in snow or alpine climbing, uh, or just somebody who's doing some three season backpacking in a really humid area or rainy conditions, um, the, this helium membrane material is gonna, gonna be really nice. It's gonna shed water off and keep um, any sort of moisture from being drawn into the bag and getting the down wet. Smarmot's using a traditional horizontal style baffle, uh, and these are their stretch Trico baffles. And what that means is the material that's used inside to baffle off these chambers that's holding the down insulation are a stretch material. So as you're stuffing and pulling that bag out of its stuff sack or moving around at night, those baffling chambers are gonna stretch a little bit and reduce any sort of damage that happens to the bag or tearing that potentially could happen while you're tearing this bag or pulling this bag out of a compression stuff sack. Marmot does include their trapezoidal design foot box here. So you can see it has some real dimensionality to it. Uh, it is, has an actual baffle at the bottom around the feet. So it's gonna be very comfortable uh, for sleeping and give you a little bit of extra space if you're trying to dry out some socks or so. You'll see some tabs on the bottom here. These are great for hanging the bag uh, if you have that option for storing it. And it does include a full length zipper. You can see here at the bottom, runs down almost to the edge of the toe box. You have some options for ventilation here. And you'll notice there's a nice, actually down insulated gasket there at the bottom to keep cold air from being drawn in. As I mentioned, you've got your full length, no snag zipper on this bag, really quick and easy to operate. Uh, and you'll notice that there's a nice, uh, draft tube inside the zipper here, also insulated. Marmot's got a little bit of stiffened fabric here. It keeps that zipper from snagging and keeps the material from getting caught in there. <laughs> so you can see Marmot has a nice ergonomic design on the hood here. You've got some nice baffling inside, a big, thick tube uh, all around the inside against the face here is gonna be very comfortable. And you've got some baffled chambers through the back of the hood as well. You've got simple draw cord pulls here, keeping the bag minimal in design, keeping the weight down. And at the top here, you do have a guard for the zipper to keep that from entering the side of your face. And you can take a look there and see there's that nice insulated tube uh, around the face there for comfort. A stuff sack and a storage sack are included with the helium membrane. It weighs in at two. Uh, 0.5 ounces, which is a pretty good weight for a 15 degree, essentially waterproof breathable bag. You can take a look at it here in the stuff sack. It is an extremely tight fit. Uh, it was a little bit of work to get it in here, but it does fit. And I think if you had a compression sack for it, it'd be even easier to stuff it in there and you can compress it a little bit smaller than this. It's the Marmot Helium Membrane 